Well, guys, here's part three. And the floor is finished. And I started the walls. And I mentioned, I think in the first video, at best I'm a half-ass carpenter. So, I guess I'm naive. But when I ordered the 2x4s, I ordered framing studs. Which I erroneously thought would be 2x4x8s. But they aren't. Turns out that they sent me a boatload of 92 and 5 eighths, I believe. So yeah, mathematically, that just does not work out to anything that I could figure out. So my studs are not 16 on center. They're 22 and 3 quarter to make it come out evenly spaced. And I got to tell you, I sometimes I'm dense and I just don't see the theory. But no matter how I try to frame the verticals, I could not get eight feet, which obviously is two sheets of uh, sheetrock or, you know, horizontally or one sheet vertically. So... I did what I had to do and it's it's only a workshop it's it's not you know in addition to my house or anything like that otherwise I probably would have sent them back and came up with a new game plan so yeah that's the framework for my door I think I'm gonna do a sliding barn door so that I don't have an opening in or out door that's going to be an issue with things in the way are taking up space. I plan on this corner to put a bunch of shelves up here and keep basic hardware and things of that nature, you know, when it's all said and done. And the door will be here, of course. And again, I'm really leaning towards a sliding barn door. It's, it's non-intrusive and I can still secure it. Not that I really need to, but I will anyway because I'm kind of anal like that. So I don't have the wall completely finished on the end, which is the uh, the 14 foot side. But I have to take all this stuff off the shelves, a lot of uh, shrink wrap and nonsense. And I'll frame that out, finish this wall. And then across the top, I'm going to run um, two by six by 16s. I'll cut them down to, to be the right size. And that will be just for kind of light duty storage up there. I don't want any supports in the middle of the workshop. So yeah, definitely light duty storage. So I feel I got a, a lot done today. And it still seems kind of weird to me that this workshop is inside of the uh, the barn shed garage. But I think it's going to work out. Oddly enough. And I just wanted to keep you guys posted on what I'm doing, where I'm at. So. And again, it's 24 by almost 14. And I think this is going to be big enough for what I want. Again, it's not going to be for storage. It's going to be a pure workshop. I'll have some shelving and probably some cabinets and so forth for, um, you know, keeping supplies and things of that nature. And yeah, this is, you know, I, I wanted 96, at least 96 on center. So this is how I had to make this, and I hate to keep skipping around in this video, but as I went to the next section, the 96 became a little wider, and at the very end, the 96 turns out to be here. So talk about a stressful day, 
but I made it through and I did what I had to do. So depending on what I decide to put on the walls and again, I got to tell you that I'm, I'm sometimes kind of dense, but it occurred to me today that I have to do on these two walls some kind of covering on the inside and outside. And my wife told me I should use plywood, sand it down, and stain it. That would give me a very rigid attachment for uh, shelves and, and cabinetry and stuff like that, especially with the spacing of these studs. So I may, may very well just do it that way. But again, just wanted to um, give you an update. And right now I'm making some, uh, some beef jerky. It's marinating. And my Dynaglo smoker, the thermometer took a dive. So I called Amazon and complained about that. My latest smoker, that is. Um, and believe it or not, they gave me a 30% discount because of my crying. So as soon as they processed that, which only took minutes... I ordered a new thermometer for it and I'm going to do a video on that because this one had really high ratings and in my opinion it's quite expensive for a thermometer. It was almost 50 bucks. Tomorrow is Saturday, October 2nd and I'm dying to make something on the Dynaglo. Around here, meat, pork, beef, chick, everything is just so ridiculously expensive. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I got a chunk of Angus that I'm making the, um, the jerky out of. And as I said, it's marinating right now, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. And tomorrow I'm going to do that video on replacing that, that thermometer, temperature gauge, whatever you'd like to call it. And we'll see what happens there. I'm going to have to run out and I... I really want to make the fall off the bone ribs. So it may be that or some teriyaki chicken legs. I'm not sure. It'll be a surprise for both of us, for all of us. So you guys have a great night and thanks for everything. And we'll talk soon.